Hi, I'm Mikey Sabatella. I'm a singer-songwriter from Pasadena, California. Well, I'm a sinner for the things I feel. The dreams come true and the fates are unreal. Yeah, tonight just seems like the time. I started playing music around 18, 19 years old. My cousin Brian bought a bass guitar, started learning how to play the bass. And I would just kind of watch him write songs, play with this one band he was playing with. I decided to kind of be a part of it. And he said, why don't you just try singing? And I had never done it before. So I started to kind of sing just face to face, uh, Bad Religion, all these old school songs. And then from there, we just you know, started playing music. And it was kind of like a pop punk rock band, in, like in the mood of Green Day meets Foo Fighters. We toured for like, 27 national tours and ended up doing it in Japan. Right before we left for Japan, we changed our name to a band called The Spencer Outfit and uh, released a record out there. We did like 290,000 miles of touring. It was pretty crazy. My cousin definitely was the initial influence in playing music, but also going to shows and standing there and having the musicians ask the crowd to raise your hands or to scream with me. I always wanted to be the guy entertaining and relating to the crowd through lyrics and stuff. My first show was with a band called FYP. At a record store, we were opening for them, and all the kids were going insanely crazy. I didn't even know if we were playing the correct notes or in tune or anything. It was just great, and from then on, I kind of always wanted to play music, and that's what influenced me, the rush of being on stage and performing. Once you've written a song, what's next? Uh, recording it and demoing the song. After I record the music, I take a break and I sit there for five minutes, ten minutes, and I just kind of like write the first thing that comes to my head, and then I throw it in the song. I sing to it uh, and record it, and then kind of just move on from there. Until the band members get involved, that's when it becomes an actual song. But I don't really think too much about it anymore. That's how every song on this solo record has been so far. Turn it true. I stick around like a two to three to four chord range and then I come up with the melody and a lot of times I'll just kind of stick with the same melody and then improve it uh, as it goes. These melodies are just something that kind of just pop in my head. It's, it's not difficult for me. So lyrics are a different story. Lyrics to fit into those melodies is a different story. I miss the electric guitar. I think I, I hated acoustic for like 10 years of playing guitar. I felt like acoustic was too, it uh, like bears your soul, so to speak, because you can't uh, hide anything with distortion or noise. Um, so I wanted to kind of delve into that for this, for my first record. For this EP, I've been trying to go a little bit into electric guitar and live, I'd like to start playing electric guitar. One month I wrote like 20, 25 songs and a friend of mine was like, let's do a record. And I wasn't really planning on doing a record. And I was working more on my graphic design career, but uh, I'm glad I did. It's been a good time. about uh, people relating to a song called Starting Over. Um, there's another one called I'm a Sinner and one called Breathe Again. I mean, they're all basically, it's like a, it's a different stage in my life, a different musical stage. It's not necessarily like quiet or acoustic, it's just more of a different route. Breathe again, just breathe again. I think graphic design and playing music kind of both you know, uh, keep the creative juices flowing. I don't think I'd ever give up graphic design, but if I could do music for a living and uh, get placements in TV and film and write for other artists and stuff like that, I'd definitely do that. Um, but I would still probably try to do their CD layouts and their merchandise and stuff. It's a lot of fun. Most people, uh, a lot of people know the, exactly what they want to do. And if they don't, that's where I come in and fill that whole void. Um. To make me go out of the new EP is it's just another uh, 
it's the same kind of it's still me it's still my storytelling but it's more of a uh, it just branches into a little bit harder kind of feel and uh, just more instrumentation it's in the works of being finalized right now and then it'll be in the mixing process and mastering and once, once it's all done I'd say about a month we'll release it about a month after that so probably late May early June check out my music MikeySabatella.com